Okay, so moment lenses. So what are they? So the moment lens is a external lens that you can put on the outside of your phone. So it attaches to a camera case. And what it does is it gives you different vocal lengths. Uh, it can make your shot wider. Uh, it can bring it closer in. The two most popular ones are the ones, the two that I use actually, is they have a 18 millimeter and a 58 millimeter. So this is the 18 millimeter. And this is a wide lens. But what it initially does, it, it actually makes your, uh, whatever you're shooting, whether it's video or you're taking a photo, it makes it twice as wide. Uh, this was the first one that I bought and uh, I used it quite a bit. Um, it makes excellent video. Uh, if, if you're into videography, um, creating that sort of things and you like to take lots of video or you like those huge panoramic shots, nice wide landscape shots, this is the one for you. Um, the second one that I got not too long ago and actually has become my most favorite one now is this is their 58 millimeter tele lens. So if you've shot much with your phone you'll notice that the phone camera like the image always looks so farther away than what it really is and it, it really changes that depth of field and doesn't make it realistic. What this does and why I love it so much it gives you a true two times optical zoom. So instead of using the, the zoom on your camera, which is a digital zoom and it looks pixelated and it's terrible, never use it. But this actually gives you a two times optical zoom and it brings that image in real close and it makes your, uh, your depth of field look more realistic for a phone camera, that's for sure. This is the case that you get from Moment and how it works is on the back of the lens, they've got these notches and they make it easier for you so there's this line right here and you match it up to the line on the side of the case it goes like slow and just clicks on like that and that holds it in place and it works really well they've got some nice attractive cases this is their walnut their wood walnut color um, they also have black my phone is a samsung galaxy s9 they have it for the new s10 and some older models as well if you've got an iphone google pixel 3 so there's lots of supported devices that they use these for um, but it works really good now i will say the the only con i have with this case is this is the second one i've gone through now is this part right here where it attaches if you're not too careful and you leave, you know, if you're like me and you left the lens on there for a long period of time, and especially over the winter and the cold weather, that this part right here actually will crack. And I don't know if that's probably partly my fault for leaving it on the cold weather, but just so you know, if you're buying one of these, not to leave that lens on there all the time um, and be careful with it. Now, what I'm gonna do here today, I'm at a local river, and I'll show you here in a sec. Um, it's a nice little spot and what I'm going to do and, and show you in real time uh, the difference between the regular native camera lens on your phone versus the wide lens and then versus the 18 millimeter wide lens and then versus the 58 millimeter tele lens and you're going to see for yourself how it changes your uh, your image and then we're going to do some video and um, you're going to see the difference on using a lens when you're shooting video as well so let's get to it so what you're seeing right now is the just the native camera on the phone, just like you'd have on any, any of your other phones that you have at home there. And that's what uh, you normally would take a picture of. So the first lens I'm going to put on here, so you can get an idea, this is the 18 millimeter tele lens I'm going to put on. And you'll see the difference. So there you go, there's the 18 millimeter tele lens. And you can see how much wider that shot is. You can actually see almost on what, the whole body of my dog there and twice as wide. So again, let's take it off so you can see. So that's without, actually you can see there, so it cuts, cuts off my dog diamond right in half there. And you don't get to see as much of the, uh, the side of the riverbanks. So let's look at that one more time. So that's with the telephoto, or sorry, with the wide lens, 18 millimeter wide lens. 
and you can see how much that makes the, the, the more of a landscape show for you. The one thing with this wide lens though, when you're looking, is you can see in the, the, the far back there, where the river starts to come around the corner, it really pushes it back even more. So you do get a nice wider picture, but you know, it's whatever you're focusing on is gonna be a lot farther away. Okay, now let's take this off. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is put on the 58 millimeter tele lens. Like I said before, this one gives you a two times optical zoom. So the 58 millimeter tele lens. Just like that. So look how much better that one is. That just brings that image in a lot closer. To me, it's clear. Uh, it's one of my favorite favorite lenses to use, especially when I'm shooting um, close-up shots when I get it closer with to waterfalls. Let's uh, let you look here. So let's go. That's without. And that's with. Another thing to consider, and it's actually a really cool feature why I like it too, so much as these uh, moment lenses, is you can get this filter adapter. So what that does is you can stick this over top of the lens and you can screw on uh, camera filters. So this will take any 62 millimeter camera filters, so your ND filters, your polarizers, your UV. And if you're into landscape photography and shooting outside, this is an absolute must. You know, if you're not sure what a, a, an ND filter is, I'll do a future video of that. But if you're out there and you're shooting water, waterfalls, mountain scenes, skies, you have to be using these filters. So that's another thing. If you're gonna, if you're gonna buy these filters and you're gonna be shooting outside, make sure you buy the filter adapter. And the filter adapter does come with these rubber housings that fit both lenses so that this is the tele lens and it also will fit onto the 18 millimeter lens as well so that's pretty cool now the downside to these filters the only thing I'm having a problem with is when you're using the 18 millimeter wide you can't stack your filters so it becomes a bit challenging when you're shooting waterfalls when you want to use an ND filter to cut down that light and then put a polarizer on there to cut down the reflections. As soon as you start stacking filters on here, you get a vignetting effect, and it, it's very apparent on your image. And there's not really a way of fixing that. Um, for me, some images that has been a problem because a lot of my images I put a, in post, I put a vignette on it anyways. So it hasn't become an issue. Um, but just to keep that in mind, I don't have any vignetting issues with the 58 millimeter. So I can stack filters on there and I've never had an issue. So in summary, what are the pros and cons? <clears throat> well, let's start with the 58. So with this one here, the tele lens, I honestly can't see any cons to it. Um, I haven't run into any issues where I'm like, geez, I just don't like that or I've run into a problem with it. Um, every single scenario where I've used this lens, I've been more than happy with the results. The only thing, if I was to pick one thing, is with the, the lens filter adapter, it is, it's not completely snug. So I don't know if that's just mind wearing out or whatnot, but if you are gonna be moving around with this thing, it could just pop off on you and you're gonna have a lens hitting on the ground and getting scratched up. Um, I don't have that issue with the 18 millimeter tele, it stays on there pretty tight. 
Um, when it comes to the 18 millimeter wide lens, the pros and cons. The pros with this one, if you are shooting video, you know, it, it, you'll notice in cameras, when you, as soon as you hit that video record button, the, the camera, or sorry, the, the phone will com compresses that image. So you're not actually getting a full field, it actually will compress it. <clears throat> as soon as you put this 18 millimeter on there, it opens it wide up and you actually get a full image again. Um, next thing is, you know, along with getting those big landscape photos, you know, the big mountainous scenes and getting that huge, nice landscape, I mean, mosquitoes biting here, is you can actually get a really tight, close shot, you know, bring that camera real close to your subject, whether you're shooting foliage, whether it's a fern or a flower, that sort of thing. You can get it in real nice and tight and put this lens on there, but you're still getting the full size image, which is really nice. You know, versus if you're gonna get in real tight with the tele lens, you might be cutting out half your flower, or off your foliage, whatever subject you're trying to get into. Cons with this, uh, you know, there's not really a lot of cons with this one either. The only thing is that it does bug me that when I start putting uh, the filters on here is I get that vignetting effect. And I've even had it happen when I'm shooting vertical shots, so if I'm posting on Instagram, if just having one lens filter on there I do sometimes get a vignetting around there depending on the strength of the filter, so that's one thing to consider as well. Otherwise, you know, if uh, I hope this helps you trying to decide whether or not to buy these lenses. If you do want it to decide and um, uh, you want to learn more about them, the Visit the Moment website, um, check the link, hit the link in the description. This isn't a sponsor video or anything, you know, uh, I had to buy all these myself. But um, if you do hit the link in the description, it does help me out a little bit to buy future lenses and uh, get the word out there. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. I got lots more videos coming up. This is just going to be a, this is a gear review. I'm going to have lots of tutorial videos coming up and lots more gear reviews. If there's something you wanted to see or learn about phone photography, please leave a, a comment below and uh, I'll do my best to get it out to you. Until next time, get out and shoot.